Hello there, Paul Stetchik with Northeast Power Systems, manufacturer of metal closed harmonic filter banks. I'm sitting inside the rear compartment of a 22 kV metal closed harmonic filter bank that's going to be shipped to Singapore. So one of the concerns that the customer had was arc flash hazards. And we answered uh, to these concerns in many different ways, but one very interesting product that we purchased from ABB was the ABB's ultra fast earthing switch, what they term as their UFIS system. So in the rear of this compartment, what you see here are three primary switching elements. They call them PSEs. These PSEs act as a device that will shunt a fault to ground, shunt these phase buses to ground in the event of an arc flash event within the enclosure. So for these to activate, what, what needs to happen is there needs to be light, number one, an arc flash event, number one, and, and two, there needs to be an overcurrent condition. So let me come out and show you what, what the other elements of this system are. So what we have here is the control panel. And within this control panel, you can see we have our typical control system that would consist of on-off auto switches and many other protection elements, including the control and in many cases a multimeter that would also be set up to trip on over voltage and over current and current distortion and elements like that. It also allows you to uh, read the information off the equipment uh, online. So what you see here is the ABB uh, UFIS relay. They call it their uh, QRU1 relay. And this relay is a uh, overcurrent relay and in addition is an arc flash relay. It's, it's looking for an arc flash event through fiber optics which are scattered throughout this equipment. Uh, each compartment has uh, one, uh, at least one fiber optic element if not more to sense light. So I have Mark over here who's going to simulate just an overcurrent event without an arc flash. And you can see on this relay, you can see that the relay will pick up and that's indicated by the orange current light here. So in this event, we would have no overcurrent but no arc flash event and this relay does not trip. So walking around to the other side of the equipment here, you can see where we were injecting current into the CTs, the sensing current for the QRU1 relay. And in addition, inside the equipment here, we have some fiber optic elements. That's, this is just one. And Pete, if you could scan down the equipment here, we have, in each one of these compartments, fiber optic elements. And as you can see that if there were an arc flash event inside this equipment, there would be a significant amount of damage. And it would actually shut the equipment down. So in the event of an arc flash event, not only are you trying to protect the people standing in front of the equipment, which, uh, but we would also like to save the equipment so we could basically clean up the equipment and put it back into operation. The arc resistant enclosure is designed to contain the arc and protect people in front of the equipment, but it does nothing to protect the equipment inside. So a simple fault across an insulator, say due to an animal or a snake getting into the equipment, could cause a flashover, but that would result in a significant amount of damage within the enclosure. Granted, the person out in front would be safe, but the equipment would be put out of operation. And sometimes for a harmonic filter could be as many as uh, four to eight weeks. So I'm going to simulate a fault condition. And we have uh, connected to this uh, ultra fast relay a circuit breaker. Okay, so you will hear the operation of the circuit breaker when I simulate this, uh, this arcing event. Mark has turned up the current to the threshold level, which would simulate a uh, fault condition within the equipment. So for the relay to operate, we need both fault current and we need light. So. You heard the break and trip. And you will also hear that the stage trips off one by one at a time. So there's an orderly shutdown of the equipment and there's an upstream break or trip. So what, what actually occurs when an arc flash event occurs is the ultra-fast relay will pick up in less than one millisecond. It's a very fast relay. 
and in less than four milliseconds it will extinguish an arc within the enclosure. And it's the, ex it's the extinguishing of that arc within four milliseconds that prevents the buildup of pressure within the enclosure and also it prevents all the heat damage that would normally be associated with arc flash events. Uh, and just some other points to note, uh, since we're on the subject of arc flash mitigation, uh, arc flash mitigation also involves trying to prevent faults from occurring and also trying to prevent errors from occurring. So in this case, uh, we have equipment here, we have key interlocks to prevent out of sequence operation of the equipment that would prevent the ground switch from being closed on an applied bus. We also have current limiting fuses uh, in the incoming compartment to uh, reduce uh, both the magnitude and the duration of any internal faults within the equipment. Uh, each capacitor gets, uh, gets a current limiting fuse. We have what we call the SIVA blown fuse detection system, which reduces uh, the, pro the possibility of a overheated fuse due to a damaged fuse. We have insulated all the bus bars. So these are all arc flash mitigation strategies. We have also included on every stage overload protection. Okay, so if there's any kind of overload condition, we're going to detect that overload and trip that associated stage offline. The fans, although they're not installed on the equipment, are mounted on the outside to allow the removal and replacement of the fans while the equipment is in operation. The uh, filters are also removable while the equipment is in operation. So if you're concerned about arc flash mitigation, I suggest you go to our website. We have on there a very, uh, very thorough document that addresses arc flash mitigation and metal enclosed harmonic filter banks. I strongly recommend consideration be given to the ABB UFIS system as a means to uh, mitigate arc flash hazards associated with your equipment but also to save the equipment in the event should an arc flash event occur. Thank you for listening.